Okay, so this is lesson eight again. So this is the second video of this. So this is the actual analysis. We're looking at three major areas. One of them is materials. One of them is industrial processes. And the other one is social, cultural, and environmental issues. So if we look at materials, we'll kickstart with the insert. Or if, we take, if I open up the DVD case, if we pull out this section, so if I turn this over, you can see it's white on one side, and then obviously we want a good printed surface on this one. So again, we could suggest it's solid whiteboard, but look carefully when you've been doing your uh, jewel case, we don't want to say the same things. So you might give a different property. So one thing, again, it can be folded. One of them, it can be guillotine. Two, it gives a good surface to uh, print onto. Three, it comes from a non-renewable, it comes from a renewable material. And uh, four, it can be recycled after use as well. So, um, so you can comment on any of those. And then if I close this down, you can see the plastic on the inside, this has got like a waxy feel to it. It's a different type of plastic compared to the jewel case, which looks like this one. It's got a tinny sound to it. This is polystyrene, general purpose polystyrene. This one's made from polypropylene. It's a much tougher material uh, than the polystyrene. But again, it does have some similar properties. You can still mold it, you can still color it, uh, you can put a pigment into it. Uh, but it's much, much tougher uh, and it's flexible as well. That creates that spine, whereas on the dual cases, they have to injection mold the spine in, which often breaks. So again, it's a non-renewable material because it comes from oil. So that's the, an environmental property on the side, but it can be recycled after use. So again, you can comment on those. Um, then we've got, um, so once we've done the materials, the major materials, I should say. The next thing is the industrial processes. So if we're looking at printing processes, uh, which are on there, you've got, um, there's nothing on the polymer. You, again, you've got screen printing on here. You could talk about that, or even you could maybe say, rather than screen printing, it could be digitally printed on the surface. This one probably is actually, because it's got all these fine tones. So this could be digitally printed as opposed to screen printing, because uh, that it buys digitally printing and get more tones. So we can actually have a picture rather than block colors compared with the REM one, which is just block colors on the inside. Then this insert, this, this section, more than likely offset the photography for the insert again, because it's fast and it's good quality, it's readily available as well. Okay, so you can comment upon those. Try and make sure it's different than the comments that you've made or different property comment than compared with the dual case. Uh, if we're then gonna be looking at, uh, once we've done printing, we're gonna look at colors. So it's clear on this one that it's multicolored. So more than likely, this is CMYK. So if I was looking through a linen test, I see lots of little dots, whether they're cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. But there is, I've just noticed when I took this out, if I kind of hold it on an angle, I don't know if you can grab this uh, through the video, but you can see that it's got like a silver marker. So it's actually got some foil on this, even though it's behind the plastic uh, surface. So it's actually got a printing effect on this. So you may have a product that carries a printing effect. So things like block foiling, uh, embossing, debossing, spot UV, you might have something like that on there. You have to make a judgment call. So this one is CMYK uh, because it's a more economical form of printing to get me all the color combinations, but it's also got a spot color of a, well, it's got actually a spot color. It's got a foil, block foil on the top here for the silver on the side. Uh, if I'm then talking about um, construction, how has it been made? That's just the paper. Well, really this one is only guillotine this and there's actually no folding. The folding takes place once it goes into the CD casing. Uh, so it's manually inserted onto here and then they just kind of fold it over and that creates the weakness on here. It folds round onto the spine. So it's only guillotined around the edge there. So there's very little in terms of construction. But when it comes to manufacturing, plastic manufacturing, so that again, this is injection molded because uh, it's a complex 3D shape. It's got all of these little sections on here. You can actually see uh, on here, there's, uh, there's, I think there's some, it might be on the other side. Uh, there should be some uh, entry points as to where it's been molded in and also ejector pin marks where it's been pushed out. I think there's a circle there. I'm not sure where it is on that surface. So you should have uh, injection molding because it's a complex three dimensional shape. It means every one of them is the same. It's consistent. It can fit together as well. Um, and I think that's it. 
Okay, so the last bit we've got to cover, uh, so that was all the industrial processes. The last bit is going to be social, cultural and environmental issues. So on the environmental front, uh, I had a look before, there's no logos related to the environment on this one. So we could comment upon the fact that, again, it's made from a non-renewable material, the bulk of it. So there's that impact. Again, you could go down the route of discussing, if you've not done before, that is there a need for DVDs and... Um, uh, what's the other one? Blu-ray uh, DVD uh, discs uh, because now you can stream or you can download movies pretty much at will from a variety of different services. So you don't actually need this product on the side. Um, so you could comment upon those potentially. Um, again, uh, we've then got uh, the fact that the material can be, reu uh, uh, can be recycled after use because it's a thermoplastic uh, and then when it comes to social, cultural uh, um, things you can talk about, again, uh, cultural, there might be a reference in terms of the graphics on the front on here. I mean, there's, it's a popular cultural uh, film, this, so I could maybe delve into that, the fact that it's from the 1980s. Um, you know, people often associate this with their youth, uh, so there's like the nostalgia connected with that, uh, people of my age, I should say. Um, so there's there's that connection as well, but also you can talk about if there's any cultural reference in terms of the graphics on the front. There isn't probably in, the, in this particular case. So have a think carefully about social, cultural, environmental issues. The easiest one is to go down the environmental route, but depending on what product you're analysing, will depend upon what areas you can comment upon there. But again, just make sure that you de your annotations are detailed, make sure you're given a reason. And if you're unsure, just make a suggestion, an informed suggestion. Again, if you're unsure, again, you can always ask. Okay, so that's lesson eight.